what's up guys this is the Rifleman, and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire dead war let's play as poland lithuania and in this episode uh, we have marched towards cologne cologne have taken it fr uh, the french have taken it from westphalia and we are going to lay siege to the territory and bring it back um other than that we are doing steady as she goes we have another full army being brought up to the front line uh, we have an army in stockholm that's just kind of def ready to defend against sweden and we are going to take Reykjavik, which will be quite nice. And then the, the main show is around taking Quebec. So next turn, we will lay siege the French capital uh, in North America. And that will add to our colonial empire quite nicely. But we have no money, so let's hit enter. Our spy is going to scoot along the coast still. Our priest is marching up to the front line. Uh, but we've got a pretty good... Uh, pretty good economy set up right now so we need to probably want to generate a couple more armies to boost our expansion Ooh. so we have a force that's riding to the aid of the garrison itself the garrison's depleted from already having to capture the city so this should be fine so we're going to have enemy reinforcements coming in on our left they're going to be the focus I think well, they'll have to be the focus. Um, but again, we don't necessarily know where they're coming in from. That kind of sucks. Should be, should be fine. Uh, right now, we are just let's hold a defensive position. We've got the, we've got a good economy to reinforce if we need to. If we need to call up extra troops, we can do that. That's okay. Just, just don't die. Of course, if there's any more, good defend. No, it's no it's bad defending the town when you're being attacked from multiple directions i mean out here perhaps that's more like it so i think i want my gun deployed here get my irregulars into the farmhouse two units of infantry like so let's probably keep my pikemen ready to fight in amongst these buildings but for the most part we're going to be deploying our strength out on the left uh, actually let's get a few lids up front just to place some stakes my grenadier line is going to hold might keep my dragoons on the left on the right sorry they can dismount if they need to cavalry is going to go out left Howitzers just pop off shots from back here. General hold. Wow, they're really coming in on next. Jesus. When my okay, I'm probably going to deploy my grenadiers over here as well. So we're engaging the enemy that have attacked us to our front. The fusiliers will defend the flank of the guns. Chevaux Leger. to make this a thing. Lancers in. So my hussars are going to intercept the Chevaux Leger, hopefully. Then once they've completed the charge, we're going to push in. Infantry storm forward. You know my marines to be honest we can just okay actually i might get my howitzers just to keep plopping shots off yeah, well, we can we can do this lancers charge the third regiment grenadiers get up here 
Okay, now get out of the way, because the enemy are going to start opening fire. Howitzers, just keep dropping carcass shot on that area. There we go. Just attack ground. Excellent. Enemy cavalry is attempting to try and get around, get through the town. The, the, I don't think the relief of the garrison is going to go quite the way they planned. Let's bring my lances back into the action. Probably with my hussars. The regiment of horse are enough to deal with this. Gendarmerie. The, uh, the flank itself has been... Abandoned, withering fire from the farmhouse was enough. Get my lances and my regiment of horse in against the gendarmerie. If anything, I probably want to tweak them in a little bit more just to make sure the more of the fields of fire overlap. Stars attack the gendarmerie. Keep attacking them, just see if we can shatter them. We have. Excellent. I think the howitzer can get back to engaging the enemy to our front. Yeah, like these guys probably want to push up. Ever so slightly, just so they are. There's no area that's not covered by fire from all of our. Was many areas. Was certainly where they're entering the field. They're covered. The field of fire. They're covered by as many fields of fire as possible, from as many different units as possible. Actually, I think I might keep the howitzer attacking this area here. Enemy infantry is being forced to march across the open ground towards us. Let's bring my dragoons over here. Form square. Cesse le pec. Back of the Royal Sudois. Beautiful looking unit. Looks like this is where they're, more of them are coming in from. Or more. Royal Sudwa coming in. Okay, switch my gun to canister shot. Begin attacking the enemy infantry. Getting a few kills. Oh, Royal Sudwa. dead men. This is what you want. You want them to be break so they, these men can all reload and dump their fire onto one unit at a time as they come in. Lancers come in against the 46th. Switch my artillery to round shot. Engage the 44th. them what it means to stand against Poland. Okay, let's bring my dragoons in. So my pursuing units are about to be engaged. 
Sabres aloft. The 44th are caught out of formation. Charge cavalry and all into the militia. The guerrilla mercenaries are attempting to stand against us. Infantry advance. Including my pikes, definitely get them in. You men gang up on the enemy infantry here. You just mow down their militia. Over here is going to be pretty solid. Ooh, enemy cavalry actually got into. Oh, they're gendarmerie, so they're not necessarily worried about them. Kill the guerrillas, don't worry about the enemy. Swiss line just yet, although my general is going to be interested in that. Focus on killing the enemy line infantry rather than the militia. Shells away. Retarget the howitzers. Come on, forty fifth. My general wants to say hello. Go, go, go. You men cease fire. Kill them, Mon General. The you men go off that unit of militia. Go, go, go. Got this poor garrison militia unit marching stoically into the maelstrom. having holes knocked in it before it's even got here. Artillery fires killed more of my dragoons than the enemy did. There we go, the last unit of line. Dragoon unit go after the mercenaries. You men come help my general kill the Swiss line. Yeah, that's going to be it. But we are going to continue. The main thing is going to be this Swiss line that's all scattered. So if you men can kill this militia unit or not quite quickly, you kill. Good, you've got them. Ceasefire the howitzers. All of my cavalry is now focused on attacking this Swiss line unit that spread men out everywhere. It may keep them alive, but with this cloud of cavalry, it's the best shot we've got. Let's keep hold of one one unit over here. They're all dead. Okay. Go after this guy with the flag. No. Get right in a monk, get him right in amongst you and then attack him. 
I think they must have escaped, because that guy didn't die. Rats. But still, good victory for the Polish Empire. 415 Poles for 3,333 French. Awesome. Dragoons gain some experience. Line infantry gain experience. I mean, this army... It's very nice. And again, the Austrians are still up to no good. Hmm. It'd be nice if we could actually just um, kick them out of our territory. That would be good. I think if we move on the Ottomans, we'll wait for them to move away from Istanbul, just to buy us a bit of time when we do attack. Russia's still stealing our technology. And again, there's not a huge amount... Well, there isn't, there isn't a huge amount to worry about from Russia for the time being. We have our enemies we need to focus on. We need to keep attacking the Dutch. I mean, if Hanover wants to attack and gain colonies overseas, that would be super. Yeah, I need to keep building up the Greek garrison. Because I don't trust Venice. Barbary is going to raid. But we're not actually at war with them. Yeah, you can raid as much as you like. Okay, so Greece. Let's recruit two units. Plus, let's build a cannon foundry so they can start to build artillery to protect themselves against the possible Dutch, uh, Venetian hordes, rather. Down here, you are going to recruit one unit of... 12 pounders. Have you got light infantry? You do. Okay, let's just recruit some. Then this are then this fort is fully occupied. Here you need one gun. Plus four units. Probably get One elite unit, because this arm, this uh, fort has more militia in it. Something like that. Okay. Before we do construction, we have a new town, Trondheim. Have a craft workshop. Uh, this, Mr. Pontiovsky, let's get you replenishing. Actually, do I? Take the opportunity to bolster my really elite units because with this army, with this force down here that's already quite depleted, create a space in the army for more artillery. It's going to have to be 12 pounders because they'll get here quicker. Great. 27,000. Let's keep you, yeah, you'll just keep you marching over towards us. It's everybody that, well, the roads I can in, the, the roads I can build are max upgraded. Here in Ukraine, let's start to recruit an army. It's kind of acts a bit of a firefighter in this area, and if anything, I see we may fortify. Field Marshal of Europe. Just to kind of bolster this area a bit. Adrianopol, let's upgrade you. Okay, I think our colonies largely are okay. We're not going to upgrade Barbados because we're going to march on the city. Although we may... Do we attack? Do we just go for it? We probably, I think, mm, I mean, I've definitely got enough troops to do it. Absolutely. That's that's not our question. It's more about the subsequent turns. Do I just siege them? 
it's probably still better I destroy one force and then deal with subsequent smaller forces rather than fight one large battle in one go. I think that's better. Try and defeat the enemy piecemeal, prevent them from massing in any one area. I think that's got to be good. Okay. Let's get set up. We are going to rely on our just overwhelming firepower to try to destroy the enemy with as few uh, losses as possible. Form a front line. We're going to be on the defensive. The enemy has no artillery. We don't have to worry about chasing them down and destroying them. My buccaneers just hold in the, in the trees. Even though they're not hidden. Oh, it says just fly around shot. Make sure my howitzers try and pick off some of their more potentially their more dangerous units. Blood artillery can engage whoever they like. They're going to be forced to come towards us because we do have the artillery advantage. And now they, now they're cresting the hill. Let's get get our guns to focus on there. one unit to keep engaging the, the light cow. Actually no, let's get you to engage the garrison militia just because that's their highest strength unit. I'm already speeding up time because hey, a bunch of them are stuck in the town hall. They just ran in and got stuck. Awesome. Use my artillery to destroy that building then. That will get rid of most of their cavalry. Meanwhile, we're just, just pounding them. The howitzers are not engaging targets I wanted them to, which is unfortunate. Level that building. You shouldn't billet your troop shouldn't billet troops into civilian houses anyway, you scallywags. There you go, my line's gonna make ready. And begin engaging. The fourth regiment's the first to get up and going. First regiments. First regiment to foot colonial line. Yeah, they just don't have the strength. Found halls on the way out. Yeah, they've the AI screwed up there big time. Enemy Bowman is still hiding. Oh, there they are. Regiment of malicious and engaging. They don't even have bayonets yet. Or at least they didn't have ring bayonets. Just the mechanical firepower that my army is able to put out compared to theirs. They have no chance. That's right, form square. Cavalry's coming in. Native auxiliary are broken.
50%, we're almost there. More shells inbound. 54%, but we killed them all anyway. Cavalry's down to 15, so they're definitely going to rout. Start to pick off some of these units that are refusing to withdraw. Attempting to try and hold on. Some of the units are re entering the fight. They're just going to rush right into us. That's right, get into position, militia, so you can die horribly. Don't think you'll mistake too much of that. Well, that's the end of you. Push forward towards the enemy bowmen. These gunners just pound that square. The bowmen are scampering around. They can start firing off some shots, I presume. They're getting mowed down. The artillery carcass shot that square. The last unit to oppose us. <laughs> Just destroyed half of the square entirely. Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't be able to put up with that. Don't worry about you, artillery. There we go. Push you guys out. Can't be shot again. Missed. Everybody's on the run. Let's just get the 12th up here. They'll deal with them. Where's the, the furthermost gun team? You can pivot and engage. Yes, you can. Now it says fired. No real hits. It's the foot artillery that's doing the good work. The 12th regiment will sweep them away. Nope, they broke anyway. Awesome! As the Frenchmen stream into the hills. Wow, the native war auxiliary is still fighting. Okay, let's speed this up a bit. Drop my cavalry forward. Cavalry's charge. Everybody sees fire. Charge! Lancers. Yeah, that's the end of you. A valiant effort, but not enough. The battle was over long before you decided to re engage. Excellent. The city is ours. We have some French troops on the horizon to deal with immediately, however. Let's go protect the port. Let's get the port repaired. Okay. Repair the governor's mansion, repair the artillery building, upgrade the conservatorium, upgrade the cannon foundry. Don't upgrade the infrastructure yet because we don't really want the French to have better freedom of manoeuvre. There's no point trying to upgrade anything here well that's a good get okay 3858 
to our general field marshal of the army let's get you some extra troops including let's get you an albanian skirmisher warband awesome okay oh and up here i mean they don't they don't think rebels ever accept to surrender but they're not gonna fight it <laughs> upgrade the magistrate these troops replenish let's get well we don't have to worry about upgrading this territory we'll do it next turn Reykjavik immediately is starting to turn a profit and that's pretty good yeah dutch are raiding our trade that's not a problem i want my second army brought up to the western front as quickly as possible because then we can lay siege to Amsterdam, destroy the Dutch. I mean, it doesn't really do much for our colonial ambitions. I mean, you could take territory in India, but only Ceylon. Ultimately, that could be where these guys go. Let's hit end turn. Move the troops along. You want division of labour, you're offering seasoning and a thousand. Why not? In the spirit of maintaining good relations, I think they've definitely got the better of it. Division of labour is a really is a wealthy, is a very good technology, especially if you don't have it. Ideally, I want to put a garrison to hold Quebec and then push south to, to attack Montreal. Yeah, the Aust Austrians really want to attack us. Ah, oh, the Dutch have landed in the south where our colonies are. A frustrating. A temporary frustration. We will take them back. But I think taking Quebec is, is huge. Because it means we can build those new... We can build more armies in theatre a lot more reliably now than we could before. Not necessarily large elite units, a large elite armies yet, but that'll come in time. Look at the Mughal Empire been destroyed. I think they have. 13 colonies are pushing against the French. No, the Mughals are still alive, still wanting alliances and still not getting them. Don't try and become pally with us. It's not going to happen. Is Venice going to send... Ooh. Interesting. Courland on the march. Saxony. Ooh. If you want Cologne, you can have it, Saxony. Catholic missionary in Curacao is exactly what we wanted to see. So this is a kick in the nuts. Especially because these are troops that have come from um, India. What have you got? Two units of infantry, two units of cavalry. Is that enough? Perhaps. First of all, will you let us leave? You will. Because we can get them into the city quickly enough. Paramaribo, recruit militia. Cayenne, recruit militia. So we'll get a little bit of a garrison, but it might not be super good. I mean, it's got to be worth a shot. New town emerges. Larissa in Greece. Congratulations. Have a craft workshop. This general is getting drunk in Sweden. I mean, yeah, if you want to attack Cologne, Saxony, do it. Because I will 100% redeploy this army towards Amsterdam in that case. Lots of troops being recruited behind the lines. Excellent. God. Can't get to wait to get our winged guitars into the mix. Artillery recruited in Berlin. Let's upgrade our production capability in Berlin. 
upgrade the roads, upgrade some of the economy of Copenhagen, hop back up to Quebec. Upgrade the drill school, upgrade the government council. Let's start building a garrison, initially a garrison for the city, just so we can push out. Although, to, mm, yeah, you, mm, mm. I mean, it's something I could probably do now, really, attack Montreal, but you know, there's no rush. Let's upgrade the infrastructure now. Let's go up to Iceland because we've got some infrastructure to build up here. Let's build a shipyard to the south. Let's upgrade the farm. Make sure the army's replenishing. Upgrade the roads. Soon this territory will be adding value. 8,400. Let's make one of these fourth rates a general. Not that we have much of a navy right now. So Venice has taken Algiers. I wonder, is Venice at war with Spain? Spain at war. No, who are Venice at war with? The Ottomans. I mean... So where are you going then? If you're going to sail all the way around to here and invade Baghdad, that's kind of dumb. It means they may be going after me. That's what that means. But yeah, if Saxony wants Cologne, they can have it. Same as Strasbourg. Hell, Saxony, go for it. Reinforcements are marching up to their muster points. So the interesting thing will be to see if the Dutch do will they attack my territory or will they just hold? Because they may elect to just fortify if they don't think they can win. So just find someone else to fight Austria, god damn it. They are coming for us, but we got another infantry unit as a um, defend as a uh, as part of our def uh, as our garrison. But let's do it. Our cavalry is going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting here. There's still a risk of losing, but it comes down to how well my guys can maximize their firepower and how well I need to keep my cavalry safe and really roll out the flank once the line's been once the line gets into action in theory defending the town might kind of work because we have more oh we have better firepower but i want to stay i want to stay out in the open where my cavalry can do good work First of all, set up, because it looks like the first light horse wants to come in and attack us. If we can knock out their light calf, that'd be great. Push my infantry forward, such as it is. Just to try and get within musket range. We got our volley off. Kill the handful. Get 
Sadly, we're getting sound effect. We keep pushing the flanker from this army. Go attack that regiment of infantry because they are not in formation. Bring my infantry in to help. You're going to have to deal with their cavalry. Steady, they were confident, and militia are upset still. Okay, I might have to throw my militia into this fight as well. It's kind of not being what I wanted it to be. Enemy general's bodyguards here. If I can get you through to kill the enemy general. the militia we need to try get some of these units to break not our citizenry garrison militia going down not an ideal set of circumstances here cavalry run back This cavalry has to do some heavy lifting. Cavalry run. Let's get you over here. You're tired. Try hit the seventh. Shattered, get my cavalry away slowly. Oh, you came back. Bring these dragoons over here. My healthy unit needs to stay out. You men just keep piling it on. Wavering in the square. Okay, got one away. They're broken again. Bring the cavalry back out. And broken as well. Okay, right. We need to keep our cavalry out wide. Couple of units gone. Okay, you men. Okay, we, we might have tipped the tide enough. Okay, you men, form your ranks again. Bring my cavalry back. No, don't route. I'm gonna have to run them just to try to get them out of musket musket range. I wanted to try and pursue some of these infantry units, but they wouldn't let us. Okay, 
recommit the cavalry. No, don't stop. Do not stop. They're not shooting at you, they're shooting at the militia. And these guys unloaded their muskets onto my infantry. Get in here and help. Wavering, but so is one of mine. Shatter them. Get out of here. They're just broken, not shattered, but I think it's probably enough. They're just broken, they're just broken. Let's send it one. Oh, let's see, come back. want these units to be shattered. So you're wavering. You're just... It's just too much musketry. You broke... Okay, then that's, then that's... That's game over then. Oh no, they came back. They, they wavered, but they came back. You just need to get stuck in. We can't we can't keep running my cavalry around. They're gonna run away. There they go. <laughs> Charging bravely. In my my bigger cavalry unit, should I run around? The general's exposed now. Could do what I probably want to try go for the general while they're exposed. My cavalry's fixing their infantry. Yeah, that's understandable. They were gonna. Oh, they might, oh, why are they gonna break to the general's bodyguard? Shattered as well. Ah, oh, nuts. Well, in which case, you men just have to load and fire. I don't think it's going to be enough. I mean, it might be. Form square. Give me general's bodyguards. Come back. You're going to have to rely on fire by rank carrying you through. The withering fire might, might be the undoing. Okay, you lost your general, but my guys are wavering. Your guys are steady. Oh my god, it works! <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> only for a turn though although they've got fewer men than us remaining now that was i, I was convinced that was not gonna work fly by rank man fly by rank so good yeah they still make it look like they're interested in trying to cross over and attack istanbul but it's not gonna work Russia's still stealing our tech. That's fine. As long as they're stealing it, they will... Ooh, Sweden's declared war on me. Do I call my allies? Yes. Let's see if Austria joins. Oh, they all joined me. Go on, Finland. Leave your last territory. Expose yourself so that I can land my garrison of Stockholm off the coast of Sweden and just annihilate you. I don't even mind if Russia takes Finland.
Oh, you're attacking. Oh, you're landing. Oh, you're landing in Morocco. Makes sense. Jordan Navy continues to grow. Saxony, you want. I'm going to mean yes. Yes, I want you to take this territory. That will be fun. Although, Hessen rebels have just appeared, so we may have to stay here and try and help them hold it. It'd be quite fun to see my protectorate expand in Europe. Oh, here, this is their army. We're deploying as a reinforcement. So there's the small French army. The mighty Saxony army, which is deployed in column for some reason. Just make sure nothing weird has happened. You can see where the, enemy, where the AI are moving their units. Their artillery is just getting involved bring my cavalry force forward in strength bring in cavalry interesting where they're deciding to go how it says just get a position up front Oh, the enemy cavalry are pushing in. Get the pikes up here fast. Go on, lancers. It's raining. We're getting some weird sound problems. You can hear the rain extremely well. Go get them, lancers. These are elite troops, but not elite enough. Bring everybody up at speed. Lancers, get out of there. My regiment of horse can hit the gendarmerie. Royal Soudois, forming square. What are you doing? My lancers have got words to say to you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Although they're going to stand and fight. The general didn't get skewered. But <laughs> just... Okay, you kill the enemy general. Bring my lances into the back here. Hit the enemy line infantry in the rear. Pull my cavalry back behind my infantry here. There we go. We smashed the enemy's will to resist. Kill the general's bodyguard. Saxon regiment of foot. Lanvin militia. Now it's everybody against the 48th regiment, Rossudois. This is what my pikemen are for. Let's crack open that square. Let's try help our allies. Nice. Oh no. Don't shoot. Don't shoot Nick Cheeson. I have... I, I think that's the different mentality of playing what the game calls long campaign or world domination rather than the campaign settings because if this was world domination, like true world domination, you'd be... Just alter that. You'll be sat there going, ugh. 
I, this is territory I have to take. It's behind my lines. I have to develop. I have to put troops up against it. Oh, that kind of sucks. But in this campaign, it's like, meh, there's plenty of the world to take. Seed planting drill. They've gone on to advanced irrigation. Awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay, diplomacy. Minor nation. Not Courland. Saxony. Payment. Offer payment. I'm going to give you... Can I... I'm going to give it to you for 20 turns. I'm going to give you ten, five grand a turn for... 20 turns. If you got... I'll have selective breeding if you want to. Actually, what I might do... Technology. Let's give you fire by rank and socket bayonet. Because I want you to be able to hold... Hold this territory you're capturing. Because my army is moving out. They're not going to put lay siege to Amsterdam yet, but they are going to. If you can hold until this army gets up, then we can help. Can you see this force, elite infantry, you've got your artillery. Let's get you some got an Albanian skirmisher unit plus let's get a light infantry unit because we are not irregulars now the, the Polish army is a regular fighting force something like that probably let's get let's get a unit of Kamluks no oh, because we've got selective breeding all our farm a lot of our farms are ready Actually, your uh, yes, elite infantry, so we can cancel recruitment of one unit of line. Wait, the Warsaw farms first. Okay, farms, 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 farms. There's a lot of farms everywhere. First of all, Americas. Push that militia reinforcement up to this army. There we go. Recruit more. Antigua, recruit more. Although one of these units of line infantry was the garrison. Although I'm probably going to use militia as the garrison. Let's fortify Quebec. That seems like a good investment. The new men. Are you, what condition are you in? You're in pretty good condition. Let's attack Montreal. Actually, before we do that, let's upgrade some things. Okay, so let's attack Montreal. Take it from Charles Sage. So Maine, I mean, if, if the 13 colonies want to take Maine, they can. I am taking the French territories, the Catholic French territories, inland. This may bring us into war against the some of the Native American factions, but if they elect to bring war to us, then they will suffer the consequences. Okay, we're going to march up into their faces and annihilate them, although the terrain may make that complicated. It's one big defensive position. We have to loop around the left. So these men might stay here just to fire into the enemy flank. Pikemen can hold position and act as defense. Just in case they do anything sneaky. Oh, it says, pummel them with carcass shot. Uh, they're out of range. Round shot it is. Still out of range. If 
very well. We want to get to this position and rapidly. Screw the defense. Get up here. Okay, how it says pick off. Yeah, the infantry gunners. Let's get one unit to keep picking off the enemy. Cavalry, the others. Just go after their infantry as well. They have hidden troops somewhere, so we need to be wary of that, but we're storming forward at all speed. We want to capture, we want to get ahead of this um, nub in the ground. So these units on the flank are going to be a bit exposed. But everybody is setting up. Excellent. Twelfth Regiment, unload your muskets. Friendly fire will happen. Which I might just cease your fire. Same with you, while the infantry gets around. Okay, make ready and fire now. Shoot at, so let's push forward. Fourth regiment of foot, take this position. Militia, get around further on the flank. Make sure my pirates are firing fireball off. Here they go, here they are. Native warrior auxiliary. Plus some Ottawa scouts. Buccaneers get in. My cavalry can deal with the scouts. Infantry form square. Yeah, the buccaneers are making their way in. Pirate scum! found the enemy's refuge. Yeah, they hit that unit quite well. Buccaneers, get over here. Actually, no. Unload your muskets into them. They're gonna attempt to fight us. This unit, push on. Put artillery engage that unit of militia. Howitzers also shoot at that unit of militia. Okay, commit my cavalry against these bowmen, redirect my infantry to attack the 28th. Units of infantry push up. Okay, they're broken. This infantry is going to engage you guys. Get my artillery to also support that. Oh, it's uh, just out of range to dink the 30th. Oh, very nicely walked into range. Very 
column for mission. Kill the enemy general, kill his drummer, kill his backup. Commit the cavalry. Cease fire the artillery. Cease fire the infantry. Lats and hussars. This is an attack. Too late for that, buddy. Okay, trot my cavalry toward this unit of militia. And we'll just hammer into them. Okay, go get him. Try to get a bit of stamina back. Killed a couple of riders before they made it in. Don't even have muskets. Don't even have muskets, bayonets rather. Colonial light came back. Oh, they're gonna bayonet charge us. Very well. Send in the pirates. Oh, they got bayonets, they got ring bayonets. And after they've done, they've successfully charged her in the regular line. Now the bayonets of the line infantry are coming in. Superior ring bayonets. I think that's finally everything. Good. Montreal has fallen. So now is not the time for peace. Michigan, Niagara, they too shall fall. You men replenish. Let's not go mad with building and upgrading because they're probably going to run into here and start raiding. Etienne de Seconda. Not going to. You're for the high jump, me old mucker. Let's upgrade the opera house. Good, good, good. You're recruiting back up still, which is handy. Your recruitment's ongoing. 7,100. We will have... Let's, let's hop through some of our industry focus on farms because we've got well, we don't have steam engines yet thank god otherwise we would have no money while i try and upgrade all of those let's get the farms upgraded farm 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 Not we're, at a, we're at a point now where we don't necessarily care where we build the farms. We're not trying to target pop growth in any one area like you might be in the really early game. This is fine. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Poland. Cheers everyone.